here and today I have my December favorites for you. Um, this bag does not seem as full as it, it got last time, but I think it's just because the items are different and I have some bulky items that couldn't be put in here. Anyways, um, so I'm really, really sorry that I did not put up a November favorites for you guys. Um, I filmed it and when I went to edit it, there was a lot of problems with the sound and then I was going to refilm it and it just didn't happen and so it didn't go up. So just as I did in October, at the end of this video, I will have a giveaway for you, and so let's just jump right in so we can get to that part. Um, just like in October as well, I broke everything down into categories, and first up is clothing and accessories, and I'm trying to make sure I can reach this. Um, but the very first item is this down jacket. I am super excited about this. Um, just because I have always wanted a down jacket, I like the idea of having something lightweight, but warm, that isn't bulky, it's easy to move in, and this fits the bill for that. Um, however, when I went to buy one, I did not want to splurge and go with like Columbia or the North Face, because if I didn't like it, I didn't want to spend, you know, two hundred, two to three hundred dollars on it and be like, I don't like that. Um, so yeah, but anyways, so this is from JCPenney, it's their brand, um, Anna, or Anna, A-N-A, however you would like, I guess that stands for a new approach. Um, so however you want to pronounce that. But it's just this beautiful, deep, royal purple. Um, I will put in a picture of me wearing it um, probably while we were hiking. Um, but it's just, I absolutely love it. I love that, you know, I've been able to wear it when I'm going out shopping with friends and then take it off. And since it is so lightweight, it's not heavy when, you know, like I fold it over my arm and carry it. Um, I have worn this tubing with friends. I've worn it hiking. Um, I've just worn it, you know, out running errands, that sort of thing and I've absolutely positively loved it. I think this one, I bought it on sale, um, and I want to say it was $60, which isn't bad, and I really, really love it, and I love it so much that I really don't see a need to go and buy a more expensive one from Columbia or North Face. I feel like this gets the job done just as much as those are gonna get the job done, and I mean, it's less than half the price. So yeah, so there's that. And so to go along with my new winter coat are cold weather accessories. Oh my goodness. So we had like no snow. I mean no snow. Um, about three days after Christmas it hit 55 degrees outside and all of our snow is gone. Mountains are still covered with snow. They're gorgeous. But since then the temperatures have been dropping into you know the single digits and the low teens and it's just it's been very cold and icy. Goodness gracious, we have so much ice. But anyways, this one is from Bula or Bula, B-U-L-A. Not very good with names, but I love this one because it's knit, like with knitting needles or crocheted, whichever way. And then it has this fleece lining inside, like a almost like a um, earband, so it keeps your ears much warmer. And I do believe that in the picture that I just put up of me wearing my new coat, I had this hat on in particular. But I've been loving, you know, even just wearing like my fleece jacket with these if it's warm enough um, has been great. Um, but yeah, anyways, it's Alaska. What do you expect? I'm going to be wearing winter accessories. So got to find cute ones, right? All right. So moving on to beauty and makeup items. Um, got to get in here. Um, first up is this little beauty. This is the, I'm trying to get it without a glare on it. That's really, really hard. Um, this is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit Palette, or, yeah, Ambient Lighting Edit Palette. Um, I have pretty much worn this almost every single day since I bought it, and before I even start talking about it too much and then making you want to buy it if you don't already have it, um, it is limited edition, and it is getting to the end of its release. And I'm really, really sorry to share something that's limited edition. I don't like doing that, but I have had at least one thing from this palette on my face every day that I have worn makeup since I bought it. Um, so you get three of the ambient lighting powders. The one in the middle is exclusive to this palette, which is sad because it is my favorite highlighter pretty much of all time now. And I'm really, really hoping that they come out with an individual of this. Um, and then you also get two of the ambient lighting blushes and then one ambient lighting bronzer. So I actually purchased this because of a review and a tutorial by Kara Kendall, and I will link her video below. Um, and I posted a, um, a makeup look on Instagram of 
me basically wearing my foundation and just this palette. Um, I used it for my bronzer, my highlight, my blush, even my eye look that day. Um, and it was her tutorial that convinced me to get this. I was on the fence about it for so long and I finally decided, okay, I'm going to get it. I don't like to buy limited edition things because I don't like falling in love with them and then not being able to get them later on, basically. So, but everything, but like I said, you can get, the only thing in this palette that you cannot get individually is this, is this rose gold, um, I almost said bronzer, highlight. Um, that's the only thing that you can't get individually. So, um, if Hourglass is something that you've been considering, please, please, please wait until Sephora VIB sale and get it 20% off because this on its own was $80. That is ridiculous, I know. I still cannot believe I spent that amount of money on it, but for me, it has been totally worth it. It's the very first thing I've ever owned by Hourglass, and now I cannot wait to try more stuff, but I'm waiting for the next VIP sale. Alrighty, so enough rambling about that because, I mean, obviously, I loved it. Um, next is, sorry, I'm looking down in here, our makeup brushes. And my makeup brush cup. It's a princess cup. This is where I put all my dirty makeup brushes, but I'm using it today to hold on to all some of, not all of, some of my Real Techniques brushes. Um, I have been basically collecting makeup brushes lately. I have quite an extensive makeup collection, but I've been working more on um, learning how to apply things correctly, learning how to do more with my makeup. And to me, having good makeup brushes is very important to that. And I love the Real Techniques brushes because they're affordable. Um, you can buy some of them individually, some of them in sets, but they're affordable and they're amazing quality. I absolutely love them. Um, I think my favorite brush ever from Real Techniques is this one. This is the Expert Face Brush. I absolutely love this for my foundation. Um, that's mainly what I use it for, is just foundation. My second favorite, oh, that one. This one you can buy individually. I own three of them. That is how much I, I love them. Um, next favorite one is this one. This is the multitask brush. Unfortunately, this brush only comes in two different sets. Um, this one in particular I got in a holiday set. One of the brushes just hit the floor. Um, and which is why it's, I'm just gonna grab one that's not. So like that's why like the ferrule is much shinier than you know the other brushes. Um, I have two of these. I've bought both the sets with them. I love this brush for bronzer, for blush, for powder all over my face, for knocking off um, any fallout from underneath my eyes with my eyeshadow. It's just an all over great brush and it's really really sad that you can only get it in sets and the only reason that I own two of them is because I bought the two different sets. I will link both sets of brushes below if I can still find the holiday set. The holiday set might be gone. But love this one. Um, when it comes to eye brushes, and one of them hit the floor, um, they have an eye brush set, uh, which this brush came in. I absolutely love this one. This is great for the crease, your outer V, just doing some detail, smudging out a little bit uh, on your waterline. I just, I love this brush. The name of it, I think, is, it's just a shading brush. That's the name. Shading brush. I like it. This is part of their regular line. It's in the eyeshadow brush set. Um, and then these two came from that same Christmas set. They're purple. And I like this, too. Like, pink and orange ferrules are face brushes. Purple ferrules are eye brushes. Kind of get, you know... I think, and I think most of the orange brushes are, like, foundation brushes. And then the pink ones, I think, are supposed to be, like, blush and bronzer, highlighter type things. Um, but anyways, so these two, one is a very small, I mean, very small little pencil brush. I love this. Um, I've been trying to work with liquid, uh, not liquid eyeliner, but um, gel eyeliner. And this is the brush, I've, I have two of these, and this is the brush that I've been using to um, learn how to use that. And then this one is the base shadow brush. I don't use this to put in like a base color on my eyelids. I use this for like all over the lid color. Um, just because something says it's for, you know, a particular, it has a particular purpose does not mean that that's what you have to use it for. But absolutely love these. Um, two more that are in my favorites. 
are these two. Um, this one came in that same holiday set. This is the angled highlighter brush. I love this brush for putting in my highlight. I do use it for what it's for. And then this one is the setting brush. Um, I also use it as a highlight brush. So, and then I also, I kind of interchange them. Like I'll pick up one and use it to set my under eye, pick up the other, use it for highlight, vice versa. It's just whichever one I grab. Right, so last thing for makeup slash beauty is kind of, is my winter moisturizing routine. And um, one of these is a favorite, and then the other one I'm gonna show you is like a something I've added into it. Um, but an absolute favorite of mine is the Pacifica Body Butter. Um, this one is an Island of Vanilla. It smells absolutely amazing. And so with this extremely cold winter, I have been battling dry skin like no other. My first two winters here, I did not have as much of a problem as I'm having this year but this has been an absolute lifesaver. So I started off this winter using just this and as we've gotten farther and farther into winter, I've had to add this in. Um, this is the Honest Company Organic Baby Oil. So in the mornings, I like to put um, the Pacifica Body Butter on my extremities, so arms, my legs, and then my decollete. And then I use the um, Honest Baby Oil on my torso and then at night, I use this, I use the Pacifica one on my torso and my decollete, and then I use this on my extremities. Um, I will tell you with this, the scent does linger, and that's why I use it on my arms and legs in the morning. So it's basically like putting on your, putting on a fragrance. Um, so yeah, if you don't like a body butter with a scent that lingers, um, this is not for you. <laughs> I will tell you that because my, you know, I get up in the morning, take a shower, moisturize. My husband comes home from work at night and is like, oh, you smell good. It's because he can still smell this. But anyways, the honest one is not a favorite of the month because I've just started using it um, a couple of weeks ago, but this definitely is. We'll see if that, if the honest um, baby oil is a favorite next month. But yeah, I highly recommend this. All right, so next up is home goods. Um, I don't have, oh my goodness, I totally forgot one for makeup and beauty, sorry. Back it up a bit. All right, makeup and beauty. Um, this is Max Pro Longwear. This is I have never owned a Mac foundation before until end of November, early December. But this is the Max Pro Longwear um, Nourishing Waterproof Foundation in NC15, also known as Palest Girl in the World. <laughs> um, but it's waterproof. I was a total skeptic to it. I have worn this tubing, hiking um, to the gym you name it, and it has stuck on my face. This stuff is amazing. I'm not going to swatch it for you because you'd be like, who the heck picked that shade out for you? Um, when I first put this on, it's very, very pale, very pale, but it does oxidize and then matches my skin perfectly. So when I wear this, I put it on, I wait about five, maybe 10 minutes if I start watching a YouTube video, and then I go in and I do the rest of my face. Just because I like to have it let it oxidize and make sure that I've covered everything the way that I want it covered before I start adding in everything else. So yeah, sorry about that. All right, now let's do home goods. <laughs> All right, so first up is winter scents. I have been loving the Bath and Body Works Three Wick Candles this month. Um, this one is in the scent Joy, which is a peppermint marshmallow scent. And I, it's almost gone, guys. And I'm just like, I'm trying to savor it and hold on to it just a little bit longer because I absolutely love it. It's absolutely amazing. And I've never been a big fan of peppermint candles before, but this one is, it's not overly like over powerful peppermint. It's just, it's just a nice light peppermint scent. And that's awesome. My other favorite has been Marshmallow Fireside, which I've had burning in the back, back there. Um, love it as well. Those are my two favorite holiday scents. Um, also for home goods, it's been all of my Christmas decor. Um, I don't think I took any pictures of it before I, before this video. Um, we took it down yesterday. So I don't think I took any pictures of it. I'm really, really sorry. If I can find some, I will, uh, insert them. If I can't, I'm just gonna be like, there's my office Christmas tree that I haven't taken down yet. Um, so yeah, it's, I mean, I, we try to have everything down before the new year and I'm filming this on New Year's Eve. So this is coming down as soon as I am done. All right. So for multimedia, 
I'm not 100% sure if this category is going to stay in favorites, just because I don't watch a whole lot of television. Um, I do read books as often as I can, I listen to a lot of music, and I watch a lot of YouTube. If I'm watching anything, it's usually YouTube rather than television. Um, so maybe it'll stay and I'll just you know have it like a book, music, a YouTuber. Um, but this month I have a television show for you and two YouTubers. Um, for a television show, it was Jill and Jessa Counting On, which was a three-part special on TLC, basically documenting um, Jill and Jessa Duggar and how they are working through this scandal that broke this summer about their brother and how it has affected them and how they are moving forward. Um, they also in that special they talked to Joshua Duggar's wife Anna and kind of how she is moving forward after the scandal and finding some things out about her husband that she did not know. Um, and it was just, I thought it was a really well put together mini series. We'll call it just a little three part, three episode mini series. Um, and I thought it was just a nice update to see how the family is relying on their faith to get through the hard times. Um, you know, being somebody who is a Christian and, you know, leans on my faith when it comes to hard times, um, it's nice to see others who do the same thing and kind of to see how they do it as, you know, an example for the rest of us, really. Um, but yeah, so I enjoyed that, that little mini-series. Um, and then for YouTubers, this month I have been watching Marnie Goldberg and Jillian at Home nonstop. Um, so for Marnie Goldberg, I have absolutely loved her Vlogmas videos. Um, her family is Jewish and they celebrated Hanukkah and she shared their Hanukkah celebration um, basically each of the eight nights of Hanukkah with everybody, which was great. I learned a lot that I did not know um, before. My husband and I celebrate Hanukkah um, because Jesus was raised Jewish and I can tell you what, he celebrated Hanukkah and the Last Supper was a Passover Seder. So we try to celebrate the those holidays that he would have that Christ would have celebrated as well um, so we celebrate Hanukkah and Christmas so it was awesome to see them celebrate Hanukkah because celebrating Hanukkah is kind of new to us um, so we're learning <laughs> uh, but yeah so watching her vlogmas um, this month has been amazing she's I think the only vlogmas that I've watched with like a few videos here and there of others um, but she's the only one that I've that I think I watched every single day um, but also for for Marnie, I love her beauty videos. Um, she does she's she does a great job. She's in her 40s, which is different, um, you know, for most YouTubers. A lot of YouTubers that do beauty videos are in like their early 20s. Some of them are teenagers, and so for somebody who's you know in their early 30s, it's I'm not gonna do the same makeup styles that somebody who's 17 does so that's difficult for me sometimes so it's awesome to have Marnie on YouTube and to be doing her thing absolutely love her she is she's classy she's she's great but she'll also tell it to you straight which I absolutely love um, and then so for Jillian at home Jillian does she's a Canadian and she does weekend vlogs a lot of times with her sister Hillary and her mom and her stepdad and um but she's absolutely wonderful. I love her to death. She is about to turn 30, so happy birthday, Jill. Um, I doubt that you're watching this because I'm not quite as known on YouTube as you are, but I hope that you, you catch a glimpse of this. I might tweet it to you. Um, anyways, but I absolutely love her. She is straightforward, honest, pretty much not ashamed of anything, which is absolutely wonderful. I love seeing how much she has grown over the past year and a half. Um, and just because we're similar in age so and I'm kind of growing up and she's growing up and you know we're facing different things in adulthood even though we're the same age or you know around the same age I'm two years older than she is um, well no wait, I guess three years older than she is yeah I'm three years older um, but I absolutely love her videos and she is Disney obsessed quite like I am in the sense of loving to go on Disney trips but it's not necessarily like in your face all the time Disney um, if you saw me or met me on the street you might not know that you know inside I can quote almost every Disney movie or that um, I've had the Frozen soundtrack playing in my car for the past like week and a half now <laughs> um, 
So yeah, a little bit of confessions, but um, I love when Jill goes to Disney because she vlogs her Disney trips and I love her Disney vlogs and um, she was almost or kind of the inspiration for um, my Disneyland trip to California. Um, I, you know, had never been and was like, I want to go and I want to go with my best friend and y'all saw how that unfolded. So, um, but yeah, so those have been my two favorite YouTubers this month and I, this video is getting really, really long guys. Alright, so what I have for you guys this month for a giveaway is I'm actually going to be giving away two items. Um, since I didn't do a favorites video in November, I figured I should make up for it and do two items. So first up, I have that holiday set from Real Techniques. I'm trying not to glare it off the lights. Um, but it's got the five brushes that I talked about in my favorites video as well as that white clutch. But I'm just going to tell you right now, girls, I'm sorry, but the clutch is pointless. If you can make it work, go for it. But I just found it to be pointless. So, um, I did not keep my clutch, but yeah. So, and then there, it says that there are two exclusive brushes to this set, and I do believe that it's, um, the foundation brush and then the, um, whatever this one was called. I think it's the high, no, the angled highlight brush. So, yeah. Ooh, I got it right. Tells you on the back. Um, so yeah. So there'll be one person that wins this, and then the other item is this mini set of the Pacifica body butters um, I absolutely love 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 these and the scents in here are the Hawaiian Ruby Guava that is the one that I could not remember earlier um, absolute favorite of mine the Indian coconut nectar and then the Tuscan blood orange I have tried the Hawaiian Ruby Guava and the Tuscan blood orange I have not tried the Indian coconut nectar one yet um, and I'm really, really sorry that it doesn't have island vanilla in there, but I can vouch for the two on the outside. They're amazing. So if you want to win these items, all you need to do is be subscribed. Well, one of them. I'm going to have two winners. You'll get one of them. Um, all you need to do is be subscribed to my channel and leave a comment down below telling me um, either what your favorite thing is that you got for Christmas or your favorite Christmas tradition or holiday tradition if you don't celebrate Christmas. Um, and then somewhere at the end of your comment, let me know whether you are entering for the makeup brushes or the body butter. So, um, but yeah. And then I will basically take all of the names that have the Pacifica body butter in it and I will put those in a hat and all the names that have the makeup brushes in it and put those in a hat and then I will draw one of each and get them mailed to you. Okay, so just some other basic rules. Um, or guidelines for my giveaway. Um, it is open internationally. I do ask that you are 18 years of age or have parental permission. Um, and I am going to pick the winner when... How long should we let this go for? I'm going to let it go for two weeks. Um, just because there's two items. So we'll do two weeks. So that means that I will draw a winner two weeks from the day that this video is uploaded. And I have to say it that way because my internet is horrible and sometimes it takes me three days to upload a video. Which is, I mean, it's just inexcusable. But anyways, that's all that I have for you guys today. I hope that you're having a joyful day and I will see you in my next video. Bye!